Nice. Sure enough, I'll notice it's a role I've taken. First thrill of it, something like truth administered, he led near in the bottom. I felt right and I felt wrong. Existence in a similar, different location runs me and it runs it all. I can let you go though. Let you go. All right, heaven for real. Can you hear me? Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Sure. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? Feeling good. Yeah. Did you? Uh, so any, well, you played last night, right? So one down, this is the second, and then one more. Yeah, the, the hat trick. Yeah. 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 How, one more and more, oh, yeah. Yeah, one is that is that what you like? Do you like that? Or do you think, like, one and done and then just enjoy the fest would be a... Uh... Three and done is good. Three and done is good, yeah. Three and done is really good. Yeah. Are three you in go- a row. Yeah, yeah three in a row. Bang, bang, yeah. boom. Yeah. That's yeah. I mean, a trifecta. Yeah. Are you going to cut a, like, got a bit of a list going or anything? Like, want to check anyone out or... Just sort of, uh, you know, we'll see, what, see how it feels. You know, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing like Sudan archives and yeah, you know, some other. It's just friends. Like a lot of our friends are yeah. here, and it's been a couple of years for sure. Obviously, so it's nice yeah, to be back. yeah. It's about like twenty. Probably would have been about when you released "Kill Your Memory" 2016. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah, for sure. And then, but we um, our other band has we played Sled in 2019. So we right. Right before it was like the last like festival we did. Right. Like, okay. Before yeah. the uh, yeah 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 because even this like there's been some of the from like 2020 when they originally had the fest lined up and then they couldn't obviously do it and then it, like Sudan Archives come back still as the guest curator and so you guys weren't signed up then eh, in 2020 because the album the new album's coming out later this year yeah so is it like have you had a bit of that transition where if you were asked to play in 2020 you probably wouldn't have been ready then yeah, a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's funny how that works because we did track this whole or the album that's coming out during the, the year twenty twenty. Right. So okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, sort of riding off of that, then like, uh, like a lot of the uh, like the press stuff for the the EP you just released back in March. There's a quote that says we're using guitar rock as something of a palette to draw from, dig into, a lane to drive in. This is where we're at for now. So like, like, have you, where, where are you at now? Like, and compared to maybe like the last album and, um, yeah, going through like the, the pandemic and, you know, writing obviously with it, like a different mindset, hey, like. Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like that, that sort of like still speaks true to where the record energy bar is kind of coming from. Like, it's all kind of part of the same, like, I guess like epoch or like era of what we consider to be the project. So. I feel like that is still the lane. That is still the, okay. the palette to draw from for now. But, Great. you know, it's things are coming 
things are coming down the yeah. pipe too. Well, so, yeah, it sounds yeah. sounds great. I'll uh, ask you one last little thing, yeah. and then we can go on to the last two. But I'm just really curious about the artwork because I saw like a bit of like uh, the. Um, <laughs> It took time to develop. Could you tell us a little bit about the the story behind that? Yeah, it's uh, inspired our uh, our other bandmate Cher, who's not here today, uh, got us really into this the thing, the Toynbee tiles. It's like this kind of like someone who is like installing like uh, some guerrilla artwork, if you will, in the streets of a couple of big American cities, and we kind of like did our own ad hoc version in Toronto. Right. Um, or I mean, did we? Someone did. They Someone did. Okay. Art, so. Okay. We're yeah. Not sure. Yeah. And the that like you you've said like uh, just like also he did like a leather jacket that gets like kind of over time like with the elements like uh, deteriorate like okay. uh, yeah. something similar as well. I feel like there's a parallel between those two things. Yeah. Yeah. Does that have anything uh, like aligned with like music deteriorating over time? Yeah, I think like just <laughs> living like we all take on damage. Work takes on damage. People yeah. take on damage. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just like it's kind of a yeah. to exist is that I guess without getting too into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. it's it's great and uh, uh, LP if you want. And <laughs> just yeah. kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that works too. I right? guess for anyone out there who hasn't seen it, like it says, "Can you believe it?" Yeah. In like a mosaic, and yeah. it's uh, sort of weathered, and it it looks really cool. Oh, I thanks. liked it, and I was really interested. That's sweet. Okay, uh, but yeah, heaven for real. Uh, take it away. Have you got two more songs for us? And yeah. We'll close out. Okay, thank you. Good. This one's called Autumn of the Fighter. It's from the EP. I am outside.
Awesome. Don't just disappear 